So let's look at how to do this. Uh, first of all, we need to factor if possible. Well, this first example, there's no factoring that needs to be done. Five doesn't need to be factored. X minus one can't be factored. Uh, 25 times X minus two is already in factored form. So we don't have to do any factoring here. All we have to do is essentially combine our numerators and combine our denominators. Um, so that would be five times X minus one. Yes, I know that we can multiply that out, but we really don't want to have to do that. And the bottom, this is just kind of a technicality, but I would rather have that 25 I put coefficients in front. So I'm going to list the 25 first, and then the x minus 1, and then the x minus 2. Okay, so all I did was squish everything together. I didn't multiply it out because there's simplifying that I can do. First of all, 5 over 25, that reduces. That leaves us with 5 in the denominator. We have x minus 1 on the top and on the bottom, so we don't have anything in the numerator, except really there is a 1 there, because canceling terms really means that there's a 1 in its place. And then we're left with x minus 2 in the bottom. And that is our final answer. That is as simple as, simple as it will go. Okay. You could multiply it out. Yes, technically you could multiply that out. Uh, typically, we leave that in factored form just because it's, it's more helpful in factored form. But yes, your answer choice may appear as 1 over 5x minus 10. Thank you, Shane. So I'm good with either one. Just be careful if you do multiply that out that you do multiply it out correctly. Okay? Um, don't, don't make a mistake and write it as 5x minus 2 or something. Okay? All right, let's look at B. Okay? B is a similar case. There's not really any factoring for us to do here. Um, we just kind of need to squish things together. So really, I'm okay if you want to put parentheses around binomials and just kind of extend uh, that line right there. If you don't want to have to rewrite everything, um, I'm okay with that. Uh, so we have R minus 1 in the top and in the bottom, so those cancel. And I am going to rewrite it here just so that we can see it a little bit better. R over R squared. Well, that simplifies to 1 over r. Remember, when you divide things that have the same base, you subtract their exponents. And it was bigger in the bottom. So it's 1 over r. Okay, let's look at one where we finally have to do some factoring. Okay, example C, uh, we've got quite a bit of factoring that we can do here. Um, now, really, it's up to you how much space you want to take up. Um, I'm just I'm going to try and keep things as neatly and as organized as possible again. That first numerator, okay, the first numerator would factor into 2x, let's see here, um, uh, yeah, I think it needs to be 3 and 2, and minus and a plus, that way the outside is positive 4, the inside is negative 3, so the result is positive 1x, and we get the negative 6. That second numerator, I'm going to go ahead and just kind of keep listing things here. Uh, we need to start by taking out an x. So x squared minus 3x plus 2. I'll finish factoring it in the next step. The second, or excuse me, the first denominator would be x plus 5 times x minus 1. And the second denominator, we need to take a GCF of 2x. So we're left with 2x minus 3. So for the sake of saving myself from having to rewrite some stuff, I'm going to go ahead and cancel the 2x minus 3 that shows up in the numerator and in the denominator. I'm going to go ahead and cancel that single x there. That was a GCF in the top and part of the GCF on the bottom. 
It's all the canceling I can do right now because I still have some factoring to do. Okay, I still need to factor that second numerator further into x minus 2 times x minus 1. Don't lose your 2 right there. Okay. And so there is one final thing that we can cancel. We can cancel the x minus 1 in the top and in the bottom. So we have x plus 2 times x minus 2 in the numerator over 2 times x plus 5. Um, now, again, you could multiply that out, and in this case it does kind of simplify things a little bit. That numerator is x squared minus 4, and the denominator would be 2x plus 10. Either one of those I'm perfectly fine with. Okay, one more. x squared plus 2x minus 15 over x plus 2 times 1 over x squared plus 7x plus 10. So, first numerator, x plus 5 times x minus 3. There's nothing in the second numerator except the 1. We really don't need to write that. We've got x plus 2 in the first denominator. Just put it in its own set of parentheses there. And the second denominator would be x plus 5 times x plus 2. So we can only cancel one thing. We can cancel an x plus 5 in the top and in the bottom. So we're left with x minus 3 in the top. And we have x plus 2 times itself. So I'm going to go ahead and write that as x plus 2 squared. Be careful that you don't get cancel happy. Okay, x plus 2 both of those are in the denominator, so you can't cancel those. you got to multiply them by each other, so that's why it's x plus 2 squared, and it's not just uh, x plus 3 into it. Okay? I only say that because I've seen people do it before. Okay, so keep that in the back of your mind. Don't get too cancel happy. Okay? So I want you to practice with the multiplying.